They always wanted to dance. I thought it was the most glamorous thing I had ever seen in my life. I went to the ballet school and said, here I am. I thought that's all I want to do is to one day join that company. For me, it was a dream. It was a way of life to be a ballerina. Once you put your right foot on the stage, you can never take it off. Never seen anything like us. They carried on, they whistled, they bravoed. It was not. It wasn't just dancing, no. It was the whole aura. Oh, it was glamorous in those days. It was fun, it was great. Sometimes you even got paid. <laughs> what do you want? It was not about money so much as about power. We had 17 nationalities and we had eight Russian mothers. So many people with each one with his own temperament. There was all this trouble. At one point there was the Basil's company and Nassian's company. I said, you're my ballet master, I'm going with you. I said, Mr. Nassian, I've signed the contract. Ooh, forget about contracts, it don't mean a thing. <laughs> We were paying to full houses. We automatically thought, that, well, that's it, we don't have to worry. But we did. Getting pennies from people to keep it going. But if I can work with this one, and work with that designer, think how rich I am. That moment, just standing there with the music and the lights and the total rapture of the audience. I can feel it now. These things were taught to us, born with us, and never left us. I wouldn't have missed it for the life of me.